Most of us probably toss the clip when we're done with the loaf of bread. But did you know that there are actually quite a few uses for these little guys? You already paid for the loaf of bread, why not get all of the use out of the clips too? Secure the end of your yarn. If you knit or crochet, you've probably had to deal with yarn tails. Sometimes a project requires a bit of yarn to be left hanging until the end, when it's then used for a seam. But what if you have cats that like to grab at your yarn, or if you're worried it'll get caught on something and unravel all your hard work? Simply grab a bread clip and wrap the yarn tail right up. No more dangling, and everything stays neat and in place. Organize your chargers. We've all looked at our charging stations and cringed. The wires can easily get tangled and it looks like a mess. Plus, you can accidentally rip your chargers out of their sockets while tugging at a different wire. To quickly put an end to this chaos, tape some bread clips on the edge of the surface where you usually charge your devices. And now you have the perfect way to keep your cords in their place. You can even color code them so you can quickly pick out the right black cord amongst the five other black cords. Don't worry, we aren't judging. Always find the end of your tape. Isn't it the worst when you need some tape and you just can't find the end? You spin the roll over and over and when you find it, it tears into a strip and then you have to dig at the tape to get a whole piece. Ugh. Well, no more. If you secure a bread clip to the end of your tape and fold the tape over it, you now have a little tab for next time. Also, the tape won't rip into those awful strips. Use this trick next time you move, it'll save you a lot of headaches with the packing tape. Art projects for your little ones. Bread clips can be painted in a lot of ways that will keep your kids happy and busy for hours. Ask them to make you a bunch of monster faces on the clips, then when they're done, string them up and hang them on the wall or on the fridge. In the winter, paint snowman faces on them, or gingerbread man faces. Then you can use them as you would any other bread clip, but it'll add some holiday razzle-dazzle. For a fun educational activity, try writing each letter of the alphabet on a bread clip and then ask your kids to put them in order. Another fun project for the kids is making a robot necklace out of the clips. This is a super cute craft that will give your kids a piece of jewelry that they can say they made themselves. Speaking of jewelry, you can also make some super cute, super fun earrings. Reseal other bags. Probably a no-brainer, but don't forget the original use of these little buggers. If you have a bag of anything else in your kitchen, like apples, potatoes, dinner rolls, or anything else in a thin plastic bag, you can easily repurpose these clips. And don't forget, if you ask your kids to decorate some clips, you can now reseal your bags in style. Organized rubber bands. If you have a lot of rubber bands or hair elastics, did you know you can easily keep them all together and organized on a bread clip? It's basically like a ring for your elastics. Now, next time you need one, you won't have to go digging through a junk drawer. Scraper for your device screens. If you find your computer screen or phone screen collecting grime, try using a bread clip as a gentle scraper for your screens. Just be careful not to scratch them. Still better than your fingernails or a harsher piece of plastic. Label your keys. If you have keys that look too similar and you can't paint them, don't worry. Just tape a bread clip to the top of each key and you can write on the clip what the key is for. The clip fits perfectly on the keys. Take a few minutes and label all of your keys and you'll never have to fumble again trying each key in your locks. Keep your earbud cords from tangling. This is especially helpful when you're traveling. You know how headphone cords just love to get tangled? One second they're fine, the next second they're tied up in knots. One quick way to keep this from happening is to wind the cords into a loop and secure it with your bread tie. The clip part will hold the cords perfectly, and it'll be impossible for them to tangle up. Decorate your gift bags. If it's the holidays and you're out of gift tags, don't worry. If you have some white bread clips, take some time and decorate them with paint or glitter or Sharpie markers. You can use them as decoration on your gift bags or as name tags to keep the gifts organized. Now that's upcycling. Bookmark in a pinch. We've all been in a situation when we're reading a book and find ourselves without a bookmark. If you are offended by folding the pages of your books, you can use a bread clip in a pinch. Slide the clip part onto the top of the page you're at and you're good to go. Pro tip, use a second clip on the side of the page to mark exactly what line you stopped reading at. Secure your Christmas lights to the tree. 
Have you ever strung up lights on your Christmas tree but find that the strands don't want to stay put? Take some bread clips and you can use them to secure the lights to the branches in as many places as necessary. Now those things won't budge. Pro tip, paint or color your clips green before you do this so they'll be harder to see in the foliage. Keep portions of thread on bread clips for a traveling sewing kit. A lot of our mothers and grandmothers liked to bring small sewing kits with them wherever they went. It may seem silly, but if you end up needing to repair your clothes in a pinch, you'll definitely be glad you had a sewing kit. But if you don't want to pack whole spools of thread, you can portion out whatever you think you'll need and wrap it around a bread tie. Now you have a travel-sized portion of thread and it won't get tangled. Name tags for your wine glasses. If you've ever enjoyed an adult beverage, you'll know that having a few, it can be easy to accidentally grab your friend's drink instead of yours. While this isn't necessarily a terrible thing, it's something to be avoided, especially considering, well, recent world events. It's never been more important to keep your own mouth germs to yourself. So if you and your friends are all having the same wine in the same glass, how can you possibly keep track of which one belongs to who? Bread clips are perfect for labeling each wine glass. Just secure a unique one to the stem of each glass. You can use different colored clips or label each one with a Sharpie. Have your friends create their own wine glass labels. Now you have drinks and an activity. Fix your flip-flops in an emergency. If you have ever worn flip-flops, you probably know the heart-wrenching jolt of having one of them break when you're walking. This happened to me once and I nearly fell into the ocean. However, if you have a few bread clips in your pocket or stashed in your wallet, you can use one to fix your flip-flops. Usually when they break, it's because the strap comes loose from the base of the shoe. So to fix that, push the strap back through its hole and then secure the bread clip underneath the base on the strap. Now the strap can't go through the hole again. Crisis averted, and now you can finish your beach day in peace. Use it to label your luggage. Yet another travel hack here. Decorate a few bread clips and secure them to the zippers on your luggage before you fly. Now, when you go to baggage claim, there won't be any confusion as to which bag is yours. Just look for your homemade label. Try to make it look flashy so you can't miss it. I like glitter for this purpose myself. Any excuse to put glitter on something, honestly. Also, imagine how much you'll impress all of the strangers at the airport who didn't do this and have to open each bag to find their own. Will you start saving these little clips? With so many uses, it's hard to justify throwing them away, especially when they literally come with your bread every time. If you enjoyed this video, please let us know by leaving a like. And if you like life hack videos, be sure to subscribe to our channel to keep up with all of our tips and tricks. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.